Hi, Tammy here with Miner's Leisure World, and I'm super excited to video preview for you the 2020 Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH. This is a mid-bunk family coach. It's absolutely stunning. Um, Cedar Creek does not compromise quality or construction with their units. It has a true gel coat finish on the exterior. Fully enclosed and heated underbelly, of course. Higher insulation factor, and it also has 12 volt heat pads on every single tank. So all of your tanks are protected um, for those colder, colder weather days that you may be camping. And it's also got six point auto level. On the road side of the coach of the Silverback 37 MBH, here is the service center. Um, it's all enclosed and heated. You've got your tank valve um, poles are up here, so they're all enclosed. You can actually also run your slide outs from out here. So maybe the marriage saver, because you don't have to be inside the trailer to put your slides in or out. So you can be running them out here if you have to make sure that you're not going to hit a tree or whatever. So you have full access to that. Um, your city water connection, your black tank flush, your outside shower, and of course it also has your quick winterization. Another really super cool feature on the Silverback is the Easy Reel. So you can use this for your electrical cord if you want. I've seen some people using it for their water hoses. It's just a really easy and it's a power. So power reel for any type of hose or cord that you may want to have on there. I spoke about the insulation, but the um, cargo doors on the Silverback as well are a double insulated, extra thick baggage door as well. So it, you're protected all around the coach with that higher insulation factor. And it also can, um, includes a 12 cubic foot gas electric water heater. So a little bit larger than what you may find in the competition. Back to the campsite of the Silverback 37 MBH. Um, it again because it's a higher end coach quality construction you've got your frameless windows so they're actually an automotive grade window frameless they provide a tighter seal they look fantastic um, and they're really good quality nice front power awning it's nice and long with the LED lights and you've also got your outside speakers the Cedar Creek features a Z frame so it's a Z frame and it's a fully enclosed um, J channel here. The Z frame allows for a deeper cargo space as well. It's also equipped with a central back system and the nice coin floor inside the cargo area. And it's also heated in there too. So you don't need to worry about anything freezing up in there for you if you are using it when it's a little bit cooler outside. Not only do you have the um, one front awning, but there is an, also an awning off the slide here, which is really cool. And it's got your LED lights too. So that's an armless awning, so you're not going to have the arms down the side um, that may restrict your camping, may restrict your movement around the campsite. I should mention this coach weighs in at around 13,000 pounds dry, so you're going to need a good truck um, in front of it, but definitely, definitely worth it. 16 inch tires on an 8 bolt frame, so um, heavy duty axles under there as well. And of course, they've put in your step above system. So these are your nice sturdy steps that just fold into the coach and fold out again when you're ready to set up camp. So I am inside the 2020 Silverback 37 MBH by Cedar Creek. Wow, what a stunner. This is an absolutely gorgeous coach. One thing I do want to mention is the entrance door is 32 inches wide. So it is a wider than your standard RV door. Moving along here, we have your freestanding table and dinette, your freestanding table and chairs with actually two folding chairs. So if the kids weren't with you or you didn't have any company, you can absolutely fold those chairs up and tuck them away somewhere just to give you a little bit more room. They've got the roller shades. So the complete blackout shades, which are nice and handy. Across from the dinette in the kitchen area, 18 cubic foot um, gas elect electric refrigerator, solid surface countertops, awesome pantry, love what they've done here. All these drawers pull out, you've got a solid um, shelf on the top and then your pull out drawers for the next four. There's actually even a plug in there. So I think it's super cool. You can like keep your toaster in there, or even your coffee maker and it can be plugged in and you just have to roll it out when you want to use it. Something new in the Cedar Creek Silverback is your residential type oven. Look at this, four burner stove. It's your ins Insignia brand. 
nice big oven like that's so almost as big as my oven at home um great size oven so you can definitely cook up a storm with that and your stainless steel microwave which is a great size as well so lots of room in there lots of space in this coach too so it's very roomy um, we have your theater seats here they're power theater seats so power recline just the touch of a button gives you a nice reclining position and back again there's actually USB ports on um, the switches here too if you want to charge your phone while you're relaxing nice large sofa at the back that turns into a trifold sofa so almost a king size bed if you do have an older maybe some older kids staying with you entertainment system directly across from your theater seats nice large flat screen TV little counter space here if you need to put your um, satellite receiver on there stereo system with your speakers it is Bluetooth compatible and it also has a DVD player electric fireplace which is really nice to take the chill off on those cooler evenings as I mentioned earlier this is a mid bunk model super great for grandparents if you're gonna have kids over grandkids once in a while you don't lose your living area space um, it's also great for just like an extra den and even if you have a family with some older kids your mid bunk doesn't take up a lot of space so you've got your trifold sofa in here great amount of storage again and a place to put a flat screen TV and it's pretty good height in here too because I'm 5'6", so it's not bad. Um, yeah, so you can use it for a den, use it for the grandkids, or like I mentioned, if you maybe have some older teenage kids that just come once in a while, this is a great space for them. Another super cool feature in this mid bunk is it does have a loft. So you've got your loft above, there is a vent up there, obviously your air conditioning is fully ducted up there as well, and it's pretty good depth um, for a loft. Lots sometimes. You see they're pretty shallow but this one actually has some pretty good depth to it and a super nice mattress i'm going to say it's probably about a double up there so getting a room for those teenagers or some grandkids up in the washroom we have your porcelain foot flush toilet some linen storage above your nice big residential shower and your sink vanity and medicine cabinet and they've got kind of a new style sink it's a little bit bigger I think it's super cool with your solid surface countertops up in your master bedroom we have the king size bed which is really cool they've got a couple little side night tables with USB chargers on each side um, and windows on either side of the slide too which is really nice to let a breeze through if you want that cooler evening breeze coming through huge closet so we've got the nice big closet with the sliding glass doors it's really deep it's nice and long nice long hanging um, rod in there as well lots of place for shoes and extra sweaters it is also washer dryer prep so if you do choose to have a washer dryer unit in here it's all prepped for that at the foot of the bed in the master bedroom we have a bank of four drawers they're nice and deep and of course they're your full extension great amount of countertop here and a flat screen TV as well. So thanks for joining me on the tour of the 2020 Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH. We'd be super excited to show it to you. So if you have any questions, give us a call at Minard's Leisure World, now serving you in two locations, Weyburn and Watcher, Saskatchewan.